Hi, Mr. Mike here from the Sherburne Public Library with another episode of Storytime. We're going to start out with our poem, I Can Read. I can read on a boat. I can read with a goat. I can read on a train. I can read in the rain. I can read with a fox. I can read in a box. I can read with a mouse. I can read in a house. I can read here or there. I can read anywhere. Excellent. Today we're going to do our song again. Dr. Seuss is on the loose. So when you see this picture, cats and hats. And in this picture, eggs and ham. Here we go. Dr. Seuss is on the loose and this is how we know. Cats, hats, eggs and ham. Cats, hats, eggs and ham. Cats, hats, eggs and ham. We love his fun book so. Try it with me. Here we go. Dr. Seuss is on the loose and this is how we know. Cats, hats, eggs and ham. Cats, hats, eggs and ham. Cats, hats, Eggs and ham, we love his fun book so. Great job. Now, let's count our books. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, ten little books to read. Let's sing about them now. Here we go. One little, two little, three little books. Four little, five little, six little books. Seven little, eight little, nine little books. Ten little books to read. Great job. Now, speaking of books, our book today is Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast by Josh Funk, illustrated by Brendan Kearney. And this is one of our books for our Read Across America Challenge. It's going to take us into the Northeast. And Josh Funk, the author, is from New England, Massachusetts in particular. But he's lived all over the New England area. And he calls New England his home. So we're going to read about Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast. Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast by Josh Funk, illustrated by Brendan Kearney. Deep in the fridge and behind the green peas, way past the tofu and left of the cheese, up in the corner and back by a roast, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. The leftover friends were as close as could be, until they heard news from their neighbor, Miss Bree. <gasps> the syrup is almost completely all gone. A single drop's left. Just a drop, she went on. Enough for a single breakfast. <gasps> the last drop is mine, Lady Pancake conversed. But French Toast replied, not if I get there first. Like that, he was off, and the race had begun. With Pancake behind, breaking into a run. Challenge accepted, my 
through broccoli forest, past orange juice fountain. They climbed to the top of Potato Mash Mountain. Pushing and shoving, they fought for the lead. Toast behind Pancake, who rolled at high speed. She screeched to a stop at the edge of the shelf, clutching a grapevine to steady herself. Toast didn't notice and couldn't quite stop, plummeting down into jam with a plop! He scraped himself off and yelled up, You're a meanie! as Pancake rappelled down a rope of linguine. She bragged, I'm the best of all breakfast food treats, then hurdled the lime and skipped over to Beets. Whoa, we love you, Lady I am, thought Toast, but his chances looked bleak. So Toast took a shortcut down Sauerkraut Peak. Skiing past spinach and artichoke, artichoke dip, Toast vaulted high in the air with a flip. Nearing the edge, he tried one final jump, but stumbled and fell way below with a thump. Pancake made use of her seafaring skills and sailed across oceans of soup causing spills. But Chili Lagoon slathered Pancake and Muck, and then at a fork in the road, she got stuck. Don't go that way, yelled a chickpea to warn her. But Pancake sped on and got trapped in a quarter. Caught behind dressings, one Russian, one ranch. She squeezed out and started a bean avalanche. Toast reemerged re in the vegetable crisper. Sneaking up swiftly, not making a whisper. I'm as soft as a macaroon. Beans were now falling from such a great height. Some kidney, some lima, some pinto, some white. Searching for safety from rainy lagoons. Toast turned to hide but was blasted by fumes. A Brussels sprouts left from an old party platter. So he quickly climbed up a celery ladder. Beside him, a lettuce leaf parachute landed. Pancake flipped out. It is mine, she demanded. Battered and soggy, exhausted and crumbling. Too tired to push, they were limping and stumbling. <gasps> there stood the bottle of syrup at last! But wait! It was empty! They stood quite aghast! What? Where is my syrup? Your syrup? Licking his lips with a sneer that was awful, out of the shadows crept Baron Von Waffle! I got here first while you boasted and bickered. My, was that syrup delicious, he snickered. But your defeat is even sweeter. With one evil laugh, Waffle slipped out of sight. The syrup was gone. No more reason to fight. And now I'm off to my brunch date. Trudging back home beneath layers of grime, Toast said, Perhaps we should not fight next time. We rise better together. And sharing the spoils is far better than seeing that waffle win. Agreed, replied Pancake. As friends, we should share. Hey, look, we can split up that butter right there.
The end. And that is our story of Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast. Okay. Now, speaking of pancakes, notice what letter does pancake begin with? The letter P. Here's a capital P and a lowercase p. Let's sing our alphabet song and find out where the P comes in. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? Can you think of some things that begin with the letter P? Let's go look for the letter P. Let's go look for the letter P. Let's go look for the letter P. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up peas and putting them in the basket. Picking up peas and putting them in the basket. Picking up peas and putting them in the basket. Way down yonder in the library. So let's see what sort of things we have that begin with the letter P. This is a pig. What sound does the pig make? Oink, 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 oink. What color is my pig? It's pink. Pink begins with a letter P, too. Pink and pig both begin with P. Here we have a pickle. Pickle begins with the letter P. And then a lot of us like to eat pizza. Pizza begins with the letter P. And you know what? There's pepperoni on that pizza, That red, those red circles. Pepperoni has lots of P's in it. Well, here we're going to cook in a pan. Got a little itty bitty pan. And next, let's see, we have a very tiny pumpkin. Pumpkin has a P in it. Begins with a P. Pumpkin begins with a P. Oh, and then we have paint. Paint begins with a P. And then to paint, we need a paintbrush. Both begin with the letter P. And finally, we have our capital P and our lowercase p. All things that begin with the letter P. Oh, and we have some books that also have the letter P on them. This is a new one called Owl and Penguin. Penguin begins with the letter P. Oh, here we go. Pirates don't dance. Pirates begins with the letter P. Sea lions in the parking lot. Parking begins with the letter P. The king of poop. Poop has a P at the beginning and also one at the end. A good place. Place begins with the letter P. P place. Here we have my patties saris. Patties begins with a P. And finally we have Punky Aloha. There's a fancy P at the beginning of Punky. So those are all books you can come check out at the Sherburn Public Library. Okay, we're at the end of story time, so it's time to sing our teddy bear song. But today, instead of singing teddy bear, I'd like to sing Dr. Seuss. Here we go. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, turn around. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, touch the ground. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, show your shoe. 
Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, that will do. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, reach up high. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, touch the sky. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, don't you sigh. Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, wave goodbye. That's it for today. Have a great day and keep on reading.